Hey everyone, today we are testing the difference in tone with different picks. In one stream we got asked how much of a difference does the pick actually make? And Lucas, you're someone who's changing picks frequently and testing out several different picks. Uh, so we've decided to make a video about it uh, because you're a firm believer of that the pick is the cheapest option to quickly change your tone. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a lot of fun to change picks. There are different shapes, um, different thicknesses, different materials, different uh, ways they work. Like there's a thumb pick and there are these like, let's call it standard picks you hold with your finger. We will insert a picture just to give you an overview of all the different picks that exist. Uh, like I said, they are made of different materials. Some are pointy, some are rounded, some are very thin, like half a millimeter. Others are very thick, like up to three or four millimeters. And yeah, as Martin said, I'm a firm believer that this has an impact on the tone. I think when the pick is more pointy and has, um, yeah, a certain material it, it adds clarity and it changes the tone and uh, it depends on the the effect you want to have or the the kind of tone you're chasing if you want a jazzy tone like our buddy Krenner for example he uses uh, a rather thick pick which is rounded which gives uh, I would say a more mellow a softer tone warmer tone and yeah. a warmer tone and if you uh, want a bright tone and a lot of snap you can take uh, uh, maybe a one millimeter pick that is pretty pointy and yeah, just try out different materials. What is also cool when you're trying out different picks, uh, apart from uh, finding out what the impact on your tone is, is that you can, uh, yeah, you can test them and see what kind of shape you like. Because there are these rather big uh, triangle-shaped picks. There are this Chess 3 XL, which is larger than the standard Chess 3 pick. There are, yeah, like very thin ones which are great for beginners when they're starting to strum because it's easier to strum across the strings and what's also cool is there are picks with uh, like uh, this, this one has lines and there are also picks uh, that have like a material that feels like sanding paper so it's a rough surface so if you have sweaty fingers maybe you can try uh, one of those and yeah, maybe it helps with your playing because some people have the problem that the pig starts turning when they're sweating and strumming fast. And so, yeah, I think it's cool to try different things out, different picks and just have fun experimenting. And getting new picks is usually pretty affordable because there are expensive like sculptured ones or these uh, chicken picks, uh, not sponsored. Uh, these are, uh, yeah quite expensive for a single piece of, yeah, it's kind of plastic. I think it's a lot of fun to uh, change them. And as Martin also said, I'm changing them quite frequently. It depends on what I'm, what kind of tone I'm chasing. It depends a little bit on which kind of guitar I'm playing. If it's an acoustic, if it's an electric, what kind of electric. So yeah, I don't have a standard pick, but I gravitate towards a thickness of around 0 0.8 millimeters to 1.2 millimeters. And you have pretty much a standard pick, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but I've started to mod it a little bit. Of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the picks from LPD pedals from Lawrence. Uh, and I've started to sand them down on the edges a little bit so they get sharper on the edge. I noticed that when I was playing with the pick clip mm -hmm. uh, that my attack is very consistent and I'm shaving off of the pick and yeah pretty much always the same spots and I've noticed that it got shaped uh, like this automatically we mm -hmm. can insert a picture I've taken from it I started to notice that I also like this uh, a lot more than the pick that is not um, yeah that does not have these sharpened edges um, especially because I feel that it's easier to play with it. Mm -hmm. It slides across it slides the strings. better across the mm -hmm. strings. I have more precision with it. Yeah. And that's why I've started to send them myself already before they even got really used. So yeah. 
Uh, I have this from the beginning and yeah, that's what I'm mostly using. Um, it gives with this pointiness a quite bright tone. And I think the, the pointiness also helps with precision. Yeah, in my that's, opinion. That's the thing that I uh, I like about it. It's it feels really precise. I get good feedback on it. Mm -hmm. Coming from finger style playing, where I've also used uh, my index finger pretty much as a pick, uh, yeah. I was really reliant on getting a really, yeah, snappy feedback on, on my finger. So mm -hmm. I always uh, had a tendency for harder picks. Okay, and, and not the soft ones that bend a lot. Yeah, because uh, just they didn't feel right for me because I this one bends. Yeah. I did not feel it in my fingers like I not used to when I was playing just with my with my fingers. Martin mentioned his uh, thumb pick. We have a separate video about that one if you want to check it out how he uses it. And yeah, I just have the, a Black Mountain thumb pick here. Um, that's yeah a, a, a pointy one and you can put that on your finger. If you're losing it when you're strumming it, this one's clipped. It's in, I would say it's not possible to lose this one. And there are round ones as well. So maybe that's also something to try. What we want to show you now is just the sound differences. We just want to play a couple of chords, a, a, a riff, just to demonstrate the, the difference uh, it makes with the different uh, thicknesses, with the different materials. We have seven different picks behind us here on the amp. And yeah, they have different thicknesses, different shapes. And we just want to demonstrate the, the impact it has on the tone. And uh, yeah, I will insert a picture and yeah, we can show you which one it is. So, obviously, it's not a scientific approach because strumming always has a slight difference, but it should get across the point. I think it makes a pretty big difference, especially the chicken pick. The chicken pick is it has its own kind of sound. I think some add clarity, some have a more basic sound. I, I, I don't have a big impact. But now let's hear with the Gibson 335 uh, through the Tone Master the Deluxe Reverb. Uh, the reverb is turned off. It's just on the uh, vibrato channel. The volume is around uh, four and a half. Uh, treble on six, bass on four, so just to give you a basic sound. And the 335 is cosplayed in the bridge. So, what's your conclusion? Big impact? I think on the electric guitar it has more impact 
from what I've heard than on the acoustic guitar. Also in terms of loudness, that's what I perceived sitting sitting in front of the amp and next to you. Some picks were definitely louder. Yeah, and that's and yeah the the harder pointer ones I would say they are louder and um, yeah less top end because you he was playing on the bridge in a single call mode split call mode, but it wasn't yeah it changed it quite drastically the tone. In my opinion, at least the less top end, I would uh, say, yeah. was with the with the softer picks or rounder picks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Interesting enough for me was the difference between the Chess Three XL and the LPD Chess Three XL. Yeah, uh, because they're essentially the same shape. The Chess Three XL also has uh, these, let's call it, sharpened edges mm -hmm. a little bit like I do with these picks, but I think those two sound vastly different. Yeah, I think so too. It's just the <coughs> material. It's just the material on these. Mm. They're very similar to each other, but uh, the outcome is quite different. Makes a difference. We hope the tone difference came across on the video as well. Uh, please leave a comment down below. What's your favorite pick? Do you have a specific pick or are you as me trying out all different kinds of picks? Or are you more like Martin? You have your standard pick and that's the one for all, for acoustic, electric and everything. Yeah, and please let us also know which of the picks you like the most. And yeah, I think I'll stay with my pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, for me, it's mainly the playability. You may have noticed that it was not that easy for me to switch from one pick to another because I'm so used to playing just with that one pick. Mm. And <clears throat> that alone, it, it's a comfort zone for me. Yeah, and hope to see you in another video. Bye. Bye.